in this video i'll be doing pascal's identities proof and so i'll have two approaches one is algebraic proof and another is combinatorial proof so let me to first write what is the pascal identity so pascal identity involve the combinations so here we'll have to prove prove that n choose r or we can simply say ncr this is same as n minus 1 choose r minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose r or we can write this into the form ncr this is same as n minus 1 c r minus 1 plus n minus 1 c r and here of course we take n and r belonging to natural numbers and r is less than or equal to n so there are two approaches in which i prove first is let's have the algebraic proof which is simple we have explained this in my last video what is ncr we'll first open this expression ncr and we can substitute we recall here that ncr this is same as n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial and here of course r lying between 0 and n so we can do that now i start from the right hand side when i look at the right hand side we have n minus 1 choose r minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose r so open this or you can use make use of the formula that i've written here so this is n minus 1 factorial upon r minus 1 factorial into n minus r factorial plus we will have n minus 1 factorial upon r factorial and then we have n minus 1 minus r factorial this is same as n minus 1 factorial and then we take r plus n minus 1 factorial into n minus r divided by we can have r factorial into n minus r factorial i have considered simply the lcm part and while you take the lcm we can find this expression and again in this case we can take out the common term we can see n minus 1 factorial is common so inside we will have r that is due to this term and then we have this term which is n minus r this is same as r factorial into n minus r factorial and if i rewrite this we can get n minus 1 factorial we simply see that r get cancelled so this is simply n and so here we have r factorial into n minus r factorial we see in the numerator we get n factorial and denominator same as r factorial n minus r factorial and that is same as n c r now this is what is the left hand side which we desired so this is the simple algebraic proof and now i want to see a combinatorial for this pascal identity and now in the combinatorial proof i fix this enumeration problem and i count this in two different ways one which is available on the left hand side and another which is available on the right hand side and we'll show that these counts are uh, are counted uh, from the same object and counted in a different way so obviously there has to be an equality in between so let's first to do that let us consider a set a and here i'm constructing uh, considering n objects so uh, without loss of generality i'm just showing those n object by 1 2 up till n so these are the n symbols we may say that i'm using for n object so obviously simply by definition of the combination so by definition of combination we can say that there are n choose r ways to form r combination to form r combinations and i'm just denoting that combination by a subset s of a so we have seen this is the simple definition of the combination i want to select r object out of n so simply by definition n c r now what i want to do i want to count this again r objects in a slightly different way so let's this so this could be uh, we can say this is one way of counting r object and here i am discussing another way because we are counting the same object in a different way obviously they have to be same so now to count this in different way let us consider every r combination s of a of a either contain one or not here one is my object so either so fixed an object this one let's say one is my first object 
so in one of the r combination subset of a either one will be available or it is not available so there are two distinct classes and so uh, there is no overlapping here so if one belongs to the subset s and we want to count total r combination one is already selected so the number of ways to form number of ways to form s now s is a subset which consists of r element one is already selected that means how many is remaining r minus one i have to further choose one is already selected from n so that means the remaining is n minus one out of n minus one i have to select r minus one so this is one way and if one does not belong to this set s so obviously in that r combination there are some set in which one does not belong so if one does not belong and then i want to choose the number of ways to form s now because one is not selected i'm still have to select r elements i still have to uh, take r combinations so in that case i have to take r elements to form the r combination and from the remaining because you're saying that one does not belong to s and you're forming s so n minus one because this element this object has is not there in the set s and we have to cover r out of n minus one so, and you can see that these two are uh, disjoint so we can see here by addition principle so now you want to count s because initially in the set there is no restriction you want to make r combinations and in that one may belong one may not belong so here now we have counted this into different ways this is because of our first way and this is because of our second way in which one belongs and in which one does not belong so this approach by dividing them into distinct classes and the classes has to be disjoint we call this as a combinatorial proof and this is a very useful technique which leads to a different combinatorial identity we may see this in future in some of my videos that how this approach uh, combinatorial approach gives rise to very beautiful identities